Well hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I haven't, I've only ever done about one unboxing on my YouTube channel before but today I've just received a, a box in the mail which I'm quite um, happily anticipating what's in it. I know what should be in it and I'm going to unravel it in a minute and show you what it is and uh, so I'm quite excited about that. I'll give you a bit of a heads up. The Nikon F801, this is a brochure I got some years ago for the Nikon F801S which is basically the same camera that I've got in here and uh, I think what I'm getting is a camera and a couple of lenses and a flash and also there's a beautiful um, uh, digital back on the back of this, it's, not, it's a film camera of course but a back that lets you do all sorts of things, um, a data back. So I'm looking forward to having a look at this and uh, using the lenses on not only this film camera I've just recently got hold of, um, uh, I've, I've done a few projects with Nikon lately, I'm a Pentax person, but I've, um, I've done some things which I might show you later on. I had a Nikon FO, F401S which was working but I dropped and broke a battery compartment on it and then I um, had trouble trying to get that to, to fix, so then I also had an F, a Nikon F601 that I got from a garage sale some years ago where the the back door was the latch was broken on that and I found out that the actual back door on the F401 is actually interchangeable with the Nikon F601 so I had to go at doing that the first time I've ever done anything by taking screws out of a camera and uh, I've done that I think successfully but I'm not sure I haven't put a film through the, the F601 but in the meantime I've ruined the F401 although it still works but it just needs a battery cover and a and a proper back on it so, uh, but I'll do that on another video. I'm intending to do that later on. Uh, I haven't been doing too much lately. I'm just actually um, convalescing at the moment from some medical stuff. But I'm going okay. So uh, there you go. And uh, I'm just going to pause this now so I can get into position so I can show you what's in the box as I unbox it. So keep watching. We'll see what we've got in here. Okay. So here we go with the unboxing. I'm going to just tilt the uh, camera forward a little bit now so you can actually see down on here under what's happening in the box. So let's see how we go with this. <clears throat> there we go. So you'll be spared my face for a few minutes, that's good. Now what did I do with that knife? Thanks to John from Tasmania who's packed this. He's done a very good job, John, of packing this. Fragile stickers all over it, and uh, as always with these things, I'm never quite sure how you get them out off. So let's try this. And there might be a good way to go. go it's all very well packed bubble wrap and all that sort of stuff so let's see what we've got in here get rid of that get rid of that get rid of that oh, this is going to go everywhere I have to go around picking this up afterwards packing, a bit more packing, there's a nice bag here, looks like everything, well all of it will be in the bag, there we go, there's a nice bag, good condition, some more, probably everything's probably in there, 
here. I'll just put this aside for a minute and put all this rubbish back in here so it doesn't scatter too far. So I can see it's going to. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's in the bag. Don't you love camera bags? They're all much the same, but they open differently, some of them. I'll work it all out in a minute. That one goes down there. The Sigma zoom lens. Nikon 35 to 70. The multi control back. These are all instructions. The MF21, which I'm looking forward to learning about that. The Nikon SB25 speed light instruction. And then there's the Nikon F8801 manual, which is all fantastic, really. Now, how do we get to the rest of this? This looks like the MF21 back. I think it's probably just the box. So that's all nice because that'll be on the back of the camera, I would think. Here is a, uh, a lens hood. Well, this is a special infrared, or infra is the brand. It's a, a wide angle attachment that actually just screws onto the uh, front of the uh, front of your lens apparently. I have had some of these for uh, for video cameras so I don't know how well that will work but that's a wide angle attachment. Wide angle infra autofocus. Deluxe. Super. Never seen one before, never used one before so that will be interesting to use. We'll just put that back down there. Got some filters and a lens hood. Lens hood, you can't get enough of these in my opinion, these rubber lens hoods to keep the uh, sun out when you're shooting almost into the sun. This is a Hoya filter, skylight filter. Not sure what size that looks like, it could be a 52mm. A little cap for the body cap for the camera. This looks like the flash. Look at that. That's a beauty. Nikon Speedlight SB25. That'll work well on my digital SLRs, which I've reviewed on this channel before as well. And uh, I'm really looking forward to using that. That was the, the uh, item that attracted me to me to this package, actually. And uh, I would have probably been happy with the price just for the the flash alone, let alone the cameras and the other stuff that comes with it. That's another filter, another filter box there. Some other little attachments, I'm not sure what they are, but we'll have a look at them afterwards. Now we must be getting close to where the camera is, there should be a camera in here somewhere. There we go. Let's put that on there to stop it from blowing away. Look at that. That's the Nikon F801, and this is in beautiful condition. That's in almost as new condition. Look at that camera there. I don't think there's a battery in it. Oh, yes, there is. There we go. So let's have a look. Works. Look at that. And it's got this multi-control, multi-function back on the back of it, which I'm really looking forward to having a go at. These things run on AA batteries, but I'll do a full review of this later on. And I also recently got a Nikon F90, so I'm really looking to get the F90, the F801 and the F601 and compare them, take them out on a photo walk one day. So that, that's beautiful. Thank you very much, John. It's everything as he described it to me, and I've looked up and worked out how these things work a fair bit already. What else have we got here? This is a lens. Yep, 
it's a Sigma tell you in a minute Sigma f4 to f5.6 70 to 210 zoom multi-coated 52 millimeter thread which will go on this camera nicely and that should also work on my digital cameras as well I think so I'm looking forward to using that that's a beautiful mint condition these lenses are by the looks of things that looks like it hasn't he, John told me he did when he first bought it he did use the camera quite a lot and it's been his pride and joy for some time so I'm really looking forward to uh, putting some film in this later on and having a go so I don't think there's too much else in here just have a look at the side pockets no beautiful little camera bag though oh always comes in handy a little um, brush for getting dust off the, the lens or off the mirror handy I've got one or two of those in my kit somewhere see if there's anything here in the in the front compartment no, nothing in there but there you go so look at that the Nikon F801 and uh, I don't know whether I can sit down and sign off from here I probably can so thanks for watching um, see you next time I look forward to doing some more stuff with my Nikons I'm going to try and have a bit of a sellout of cameras soon uh, a lot of my Pentax cameras and a few others that I've been collecting because I've got a huge collection really of these cameras but I want to review a lot of them before I actually sell them and that'll take me a while so once again thanks for watching like if you like subscribe if you wish and uh, I'll see you next time and hopefully and I'm also trying to source a little attachment where you can put your phone on the top of the, I saw a video today you put your phone on the top of the hot shoe there and you can go along taking, doing a photo walk, taking shots with video of your phone and taking shots with your camera and then it works pretty well so you know what you've actually taken. So I'm hoping to do some of that once I get one of those attachments to do some of that in the future. So I hope you're all well and uh, I continue to think of all the people in Ukraine and Russia and, and other places around the world that are in, in deep trouble and uh, I just pray and I hope you are too that, that there'll become a a solution to some of these issues soon. So we'll see you next time.